Aries, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aries. So if you're an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Monk, Node, or if you have a stellar in Aries, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, then apply. Don't try to pause the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, you can get reversed, so take how it resonates. So, this is going to be a no contact, no communication reading. The one you're not talking to right now, it's going to be an energy check-in on them. Wheel of Fortune. Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Judgment. This person might see you as someone who's not sure about them. You are not sure about them. This person might also feel like you're looking for some sort of change in this connection, some sort of forward movement, some sort of change in this connection, but that's not happening. Also, for some of you, this person might feel like you are not sure whether you are going to give them another chance or not. Whether you want to give this connection or relationship another chance or not. You are not sure about them. You are not sure about this connection. Or you are simply not sure about whether you should give this another shot or not. You are confused here. You are unclear. You are unclear about them, this connection or giving them another chance. What do you exactly want from this person or this connection? You are unsure about that. For some of you, this person might feel like your priorities lie otherwhere. That's the reason why you are not sure about them. You could be looking for, don't get regret, but this is what I'm getting. You could be looking for better opportunities. Now, I don't know what those opportunities mean. It could be... I don't know, like opportunities when it comes to your career or opportunities when it comes to potential partners. But somehow this person gets the feeling that you are not very serious about them or you are not sure about them. Okay, you could be dealing with fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. of pentacles eight eight strength oh look at that eight 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 of wands strength which is number eight and eight of pentacles and we have the emperor here eight 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 Some of you, this person feels like you have high standards and they fear that they might not be able to meet those standards of yours. That they are not a match for your standards here. You're a high value person, you have high standards and they are not a match for that. They, they can't match your energy or they are not a match for your whatever you're looking for in a person. Like you, uh, you want a lot more in a person and they, they can't give you that or they don't have that right now. Two and eight of pentacles, six of pentacles. For some of you, money could be uh, an issue in this connection or simply this person, the reason this person feels like they're not a match to you is because 
monetarily they feel like they can't give you what you want and that's the reason why this person might feel like you're not sure about them because you're looking for someone better you're looking for something better and for some of you this person and that's what i'm getting this person might fear this this person might fear that they might you might be just settling for them you might be not really into them not really like them and you're just settling for them okay We just saw the eight of wands, eight of pentacles, and the strength eight, eight, eight. Now we have one more eight, the eight of cups here. For some of you, this person is really trying hard to withdraw from this connection. Eight of cups, at least emotionally um, detached from this connection. This person is really trying to emotionally detach from this connection. Nine of wands at the bottom of the deck, and a six of pentacles. And the reason this person is trying to do that is because they're very pessimistic about whether you really want them or not it's like this person does not know whether you really want them or not it's like uh, this person might be someone who is very insecure within themselves or they do have a lot of anxiety that's the reason why this person is feeling like um they don't know whether you really want them whether you want to be with them or not whether you are happy with them or not. This person might be questioning a lot of things like, was Aries ever happy with me? Does Aries really care about me? Or is Aries just settling for me? I don't know why this person would think that, but it could be, as I said, simply their insecurities. very wounded right now with the nine of wands here they are wounded by the fact that you are not sure about them like it's hurting them pessimism again five of cups four of cups and uh, temperance could be dealing with the Sagittarius but some of you this person is just trying to keep, be very patient here this person is trying not to this person is very agitated they are feeling very insecure and they are not really feeling very calm within them this person is not in a very calm state right now and this person is trying their level best to come across as someone who's calm and got their shit together. This person does not want to, they don't want to show this to the world, to you. They don't want to show this. They don't want to show their pessimism here. A lot of water here eight of cups uh, four of cups five of cups and the temperance has a lot of water as well they're trying to be patient and keep themselves balanced For some of you this person could be trying to meditate a lot as well trying to find some answers trying to come out of this this person could be struggling to come out of this negative uh, energy for some of you as i said this person could be struggling they ha might have some internal struggles and it's not related to you 
all of us have some demons you know psychological demons and everything and this person could be having a lot of inter internal struggles of themselves which does not concern you and it's what i'm getting is like everything is getting mixed up for this person right now this connection their internal struggles everything is getting mixed up that's the reason why this person is holding back with the four of pentacles yeah king of cups look at that king of cups ace of cups they have a lot of feelings for you they have a lot of emotions for you This person could be, uh, look at that, again, the amount of cups here, the amount of water here. Water is all about emotions. And it's like, whatever these emotions are, this person is trying their best to keep it under control. They're trying their best to, it's like, to make sure everything is enclosed and nothing just spills. This person doesn't want to spill whatever is happening within them. Because inside this person, a lot is happening and they're trying to make sure they can keep everything under control and not lose it or, or not, you know, like a blast. They're really trying to keep everything under control here and trying to show people that they, they're fine, they're good. It's like this person doesn't want others to worry about them, whether it's their family, whether it's you, this person does not want anyone to worry about them. This could be the kind of person who really doesn't share what's going on with them a lot. You know, like whatever internal struggles and battles is going through, whatever this person is fighting, they will not share it with anyone. They will try to come across as someone who's very grounded and sorted and working on themselves. But yeah, like there's a lot going on within this person here. Emotionally, this person is feeling a lot. And yeah, they have emotions, they have feelings. Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. But they, this person might be doubting or feeling that you might not have these same feelings. You might, you might be, so King of Cups, Ace of Cups means a lot of love. So you might not be as into them as they are into you. And that is what is scaring this person a lot. It is scaring this person and it might it is making this person feel like what if they just end up that's the reason why this person is trying to emotionally detach for some of you as well because they feel like these emotions that they have for you are too much or too overwhelming and if they can't keep it under control and if they can't emotionally detach from the, you or keep everything balanced then you know they might get hurt by you because again you are not as into them as much as they are into you so this person might for some of you they might feel like they are the ones who has invested more in this connection. They are more emotionally invested. Five and eight of cups, three of cups in the mix. Three of cups talks about reunion, happy times and everything. Nine of Cups in reverse, King of Wands in reverse. This person is not happy about how things are between the both of you. They're very unhappy here. They're very dissatisfied. For some of you, because since we do have the death here, this person could be going through some sort of transformation, spiritual, internal transformation of their own. No wonder I got the energy of this person has a lot of internal struggles. So this person could be going through a major transformation. 
ending some chapters in their life, having some new beginnings. That's one of the reasons why their emotions could be all like, I'm getting that energy of someone whose emotions is all jumbled up. It's like this person needs this space to clear their head, to clear their emotions, to be more calm and stable. Spiritually, this person might be feeling a little, this person, not spiritually, this is what I got with the five of pentacles in reverse. This person might be feeling depleted here. Also, whatever abandonment issues this person has, or whatever was the, is the reason for this person's insecurity, it's coming to the surface. This person is really feeling depleted here. They're not even happy in their life. This person is not happy in their life. They're very unhappy with the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's like for some of you, it's very possible nothing is making this person happy right now. This is definitely, this person is going through a them problem. It's not you, it's a them problem for this person here. They're feeling dissatisfied with life. They're feeling unhappy. And it is because this person could be going through a major transition in their life, a major change, a new chapter in their life. But whatever is happening with this person here, yeah, King of Wands and Rivers, this person might be feeling very underconfident as well right now. Yeah, again, the tower. A lot of change is happening with this person here. It's very possible this connection could have just ended abruptly, like suddenly things just stopped, suddenly things just ended. And that is stressing this person again more. It's like this person has too much, too much stress going on with them. And there's, there's more than one reason. It's just not this connection. Other things in this person's life is stressing them out as well. For some of you, this could be money. For some of you, this could be uh, some abandonment issues or some transformation. Something this person needs to let go. That is, is very difficult for this person. Some of you, you see this person right now as someone who is reckless. This person might have said some things to you as well. That was pretty hurtful with the Knight of Swords. Something was said between the both of you here. Could be both of you, could be this person said something. So you're seeing this person as someone very reckless, someone who um, it's just saying stuff. Just vomiting words, sort of a thing here. Shuffle so much tower and nine of wands. You know this person is wounded. You know that. 
you're also very aware that this person is very pessimistic about this relationship or connection between the both of you. You're already aware of it. Yeah, for some of you are very well aware of this internal struggle this person is going through. You might not be aware of everything that is going on with them, but you are aware that this person is going through something here. Or they have some internal struggles that they are going through. Something could have happened in this person's life with the tower and the nine of wands. The tower is like a sudden change, uh, sudden chaotic energy, chaos sort of a thing here. Uh, so this person could be going through a rude awakening again death the tower this person scorpio strong scorpio energy that is that is death and rebirth right so this person is could be could be going through a rude awakening and you might be aware that this person is going through a lot here but some of you are definitely aware you know those person's boundaries are up and um They are defensive towards you. You might be already aware of it. Oh, justice and the hierophant. We're dealing with Libra, Taurus. Some of you could have been married to this person since we do have Hierophant and just Justice here. So some of you could have been married to this person here. Hmm. You're trusting, you are... Either you are trusting your intuition or you are being asked to trust your intuition about this connection. You are being asked to trust your intuition and you are being asked to have this faith or belief in the universe and your higher self that whatever is going to happen in this connection, it is going to be happening for your highest good. That's very specific, but you know. Have faith or trust here. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Yeah, for some of you want to be back with this person here. Three of Cups. You want reunion. You want to have celebration. You want to feel happy with this person. Feel good with them, but... stability with this person here long-term stability with this person you do see the possibility of having a ten of pentacles with this person stability celebrations happy times good times you do see a future with this person you do see the um, long-term success with this person here now for some of you because this person is uh, going through their own stuff you could be trying to just focus on your individual happiness here Focus on your individual happiness, focus on growth, stability, focus on whatever is going to help you. I don't know, I heard whatever is helping you, that is what where you're focusing at. I don't know what's helping you, but um, whatever is helping you, you need to focus on that. You are trying to focus on that. That could be just relying on a friend, having some good time with, with your friends, hanging out with your friends, talking to a friend. If you're feeling very overwhelmed or if you're feeling like you need to talk to someone, you can open up to a friend. Talk to a friend. But that's the energy I'm getting. Like talking to a friend, focusing on your stability, focusing on your money, on your career, focusing on the things that are really going well and good in your life is actually going to help you soothe yourself, almost calm yourself and not feel uh, anxious about this person or what is going to happen in this connection.
king of cups so the king of cups showed up in this person's energy and it's showing up in your energy as well you both have feelings for each other but it's that energy of you both are holding back your feelings from each other because the king of cups is someone who has a lot of emotions but the king of cups isn't the king who will express a lot he can hold back his emotions if he wants to unlike the queen of cups he has control over his emotions he's very diplomatic almost with his emotions so I think you both are trying to be as diplomatic as possible with, with your emotions here. You both care about each other. You both have a lot of feelings for each other. But you both are just... Mm, this person has a lot going on and you, you are trying to just keep yourself balanced and not, you know, have too much expectations or overindulge in any negative thoughts or feelings. Just... Keep your cool and keep focusing on what needs to be focused in your life. For some of you, if this person is going through a lot, you want to be supportive for this person, you want to support this person or be supportive for them, but uh, this person might not be open to that. So you're just, again, just keeping to yourself, doing yourself, keeping the focus on yourself. That's the energy I'm getting here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, focus on your own happiness. and the nine of swords in reverse yeah there's definitely some conflict going on between the both of you and the nine of swords in reverse yeah this person they they first have to come out of that inner turmoil they are in whatever they are trying to hold everything inside they need to come to terms with that first they need to let go of that turmoil the inner inner conflicts the fight inner fight the this person is like it's more like this more than the conflict between the both of you the five of swords feels like a conflict that is happening within this person for some of you this person could be feeling very defeated as well here okay i'm not saying it has got to do any like you are making them feel defeated could be this person is feeling defeated because they feel like you are not serious about this relationship you don't see a future with them or you're not very optimistic about them you're unclear or unsure about them that could be what is making this person feel defeated but more than that it's like this person's thoughts are defeating this person And they will require a lot of strength to overcome this energy of five of swords and nine of swords in reverse. They need to keep focusing on what clearing their head and head, head up, head space up. They need to focus on that. Okay. to keep this no seven of cups here yeah, this person is like feeling very directionless here seven of swords in reverse They don't want to deceive you. They don't want to deceive you. For some of you, this person has to stop repressing their emotions. They really have to, with the moon in reverse, they really have to stop repressing their emo emotions. And if they are having any sort of insecurities, they need to talk that out. But I am not getting that energy of someone. They know that they need to talk to you. They need to tell you what is going on inside them. But this person is not 
they know what they have to do, but they are not ready to do it. This person is holding back because they're extremely confused about what they should be doing here. It's like they, they don't, uh, they, they don't think, they're thinking too much and this person thinks or feels like they might end up taking a wrong decision here because they're overthinking, because they're insecure, because a lot is happening. They are emotionally not stable at all. So that's the reason why this person is not communicating with you because they don't want to say something wrong or they don't want to take the wrong decision. And the dogs are going crazy suddenly. of swords yeah they need to get the clarity themselves first what do they want kind that queen of cups king of cups queen of cups you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio they need to first resolve their own issues this person needs to resolve their own issues this person will talk they will communicate this is clear cut direct communication we just saw the ace of swords and now the queen of swords yeah this person will talk for some of you they will take action yeah page of pentacles queen of swords and we did see the ace of swords yeah this person will actually express their repressed emotions whatever's going on inside them this person will open up Yeah, you, uh, there's going to be a reunion for some of you. There's definitely going to be coming back together. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords in reverse. There's going to be a new beginning here. Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups, there's going to be a new uh, beginning after a painful ending here. There has been a painful ending and this person is going through a lot here. The moon in reverse, the seven of swords in reverse. If this person was hiding something, they were keeping secrets, they were repressing their emotions, they are going to open up. Six of cups and ace of cups and there's going to be a new beginning here. All right. so stuck in life I'm not happy with anything I know my actions have proved otherwise but I do love you I feel like I'm drowning in my own thoughts overthinking overwhelmed yeah this person is extremely They're overstimulated is also what I'm getting here um, huh. I miss kissing you I miss you. Choose. You just want me to chase you, don't you? This person is like, they are imagining a lot of stuff here. This person is imagining a lot of stuff. Seven of Cups. I couldn't sleep last night. I was going through all our conversations and pictures together.
Thank you for being my greatest teacher. So, yeah. Okay. Why do I feel so lost? Look at that. I long for your kiss. And I miss kissing you. That's a double confirmation. This person really misses you. They feel lost without you. These feelings are eating me alive. I can't let go of you. There's desire from this person's side as well. I feel lonely. It is dark without you. This person really, really misses you. Whatever they're going through, this person, for some of you, they could be going through the dark night of the soul. Some sort of spiritual transformation or awakening this person is going through. And it's not really pretty for this person right now. All right. Well, that's your reading. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.